Popular publication Eugene Weekly says it's dealt with a massive financial blow after they learned someone has allegedly been embezzling money from them for years. The discovery forced them to lay off their entire staff and stop printing the paper. But as KEZI 9 News reporter Albert James shows us, the situation isn't stopping them from putting their work out into the community. You just don't let go of something that matters this much. Eugene Weekly staff were shocked to learn just before Christmas someone close to their organization had allegedly been embezzling money from them for years. EPD is investigating the theft and private accountants are looking into how much damage has been done, including how much money is unaccounted for and how many bills have gone unnoticed and unpaid. People trust us to tell the story. We trust people to take out ads and support us and we trust each other in the office and we were just blindsided with all the things that we thought could be financially hurting the paper. We, embezzlement was not on the list. Mortensen says in light of the situation, staff are volunteering to get content out into the community, even if it's not in a printed paper. We uh, released a statement last night online um, and just did a kind of a smaller digital version, um, some stories we had already been working on. For now, Eugene Weekly says it'll continue publishing online. Mortensen says their short-term goal is to get financially stable enough to get the paper back in print and in the long term, figure out a sustainable path for the publication to continue long into the future. You do it because you love it and you love the paper and the community. So even though we were all told we were laid off um, and we are still coming in and trying to put out a paper. Coming up at 6 o'clock, hear from Mortensen about what the community can do to help them out and how one person already stepped up to the opportunity. Reporting in Eugene, Albert James, KEZI 9 News.